Hi guys, Blog Tyrant here. Um, this is my first ever tutorial video, so please forgive me for all the mistakes that I'm inevitably going to make. Hopefully I can get a bit better at this over time if we continue to do it. Um, what I want to do today is show you how to build a bit of a Facebook landing page for your Facebook fan page. Uh, if you've got a blog, you should have a Facebook page as well to interact with all your readers in just another, yet another place. Um, here we are on Darren Rouse, the Pro Bloggers landing page. We can see here that he's added this nice image um, to his Facebook page and what it does is it basically makes it look a bit more branded towards your brand and not just like every other Facebook page that's out there. So, you know, you can see that he's got, you know, wall and info and all those regular tabs but he's also got welcome and these other ones that he's added. Uh, and he's done that using FBML, stands for Facebook Markup Language. It's very, very easy but it looks great. Darren's looks great. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. Um, first thing you need to do is create this image um, or have somebody create it for you. I've done one very simply down here in Photoshop. Mine's nowhere near as nice as Darren's, but hopefully it does the trick. I've centered mine around my ebook, um, which I give away for free on Blog Tyrant because uh, that helps me get email subscribers and fans and whatnot. So I've just done a quick call to action, join the Blog Tyrant, click the like button, so on and so forth. Nothing too difficult there. Um, one important thing if we go up here to image and then image size is you'll see that it is 523 by 375. Now it has to be 523 pixels at the time I'm making this video. Facebook have been known to change it before. I think you can have a taller or shorter, uh, so play around with that, but 523 is the pixel size that I'd be going for if I was you for the width. Um, once you've done that, save, file, save for web and devices and save it as a JPEG, um, which I've already done. So I'll just replace that for you. So head on back now to the internet because you have to upload that to the internet. So I'm going to use Windows 7 snapping here because I've got a big screen and it's nice to work with two windows at once. So you can see over on this side I've got Facebook and then on this side I've got my WordPress dashboard. And I've just clicked add a new post here and then I'm going to upload the image here. It's so upload insert. We all know how to do this. It's very easy. I've already uploaded it, um, so I don't need to do it again, but you just click choose file. So once you've uploaded your files, you can look at them in the media library. Um, mine is already right here. Now, all you need here is the address, the link URL, because you're going to need that a bit later. So I'm just copying that. So we'll go back over here to Facebook. Now, the way you add FBML to your page is by visiting their page. So the first thing you need to do is search for static FBML. Click that. Here we are on their page. It's nothing much. They've got a lack of a profile photo. You don't need to like it. You just need to go here to add to my page underneath the profile photo. So give that a click. And you'll see that the pages that you're administrator for show up here. Um, so blog tyrant, that's what we're doing. Add to page. That's done. So just click close there. Now what you have to do is just go to the page itself. So we're going to look for Blog Tyrant. There she is. And under the profile photo you'll see here edit page. So we just want to click edit page. And then what you've got is this nice little back end here. This is where all the juicy stuff is like your stats and your admins, all that kind of thing. What we're looking for is applications because it's the FBML application. So click that and you'll see here it is. FBML. So what you want to do is click go to application. Now this is what the page looks like, nothing fancy, but you get this little box title and FBML code section. So the box title is just what it's going to be called, the tab at the top. You know, you've got your wall info and then this one that you're making could be called welcome or g'day, how you going, or um, ebook, free ebook, whatever else, I don't know what you call it. And here you've got to add a bit of HTML code. So this is just the basic image code. You can add other stuff in there. Uh, if you know HTML, but I'm just, I've just made mine an image. This is the simplest way to do it. So the image code, IMG space SRC equals quotation mark. Then you've got to paste in the image URL that you copied before, quotation mark and bracket, and then just save changes. So that's done. So then you go up here to Blog Tyrant. We'll go back to the page itself, and you can see here now um, there's the wall info and welcome. Actually, if you were tricky and you went back in the video, you'd see there was probably welcome there before because I'd already done it. Um, so don't pull me up on that, please. A bit of a mistake on my part. But here you go. Click welcome and there's our image just in there. Um, 
Now you want to make sure you have a little bit of a call to action in there. You know, tell people to click the like button just so they know what to do. Um, tell them what what you want them to do. Don't expect them to know. Um, one little tip that I'd like to give you is if we go up here, we'll have a just scroll up here and look at the address. You see that there's this address here when you're on the welcome tabs. It's got this V equals app bit on the end. If you click the wall though, it goes to a different one. Um, so when you add, when you link to your Facebook page on your blog, you want to use this welcome tab because then people will see this first as opposed to your wall first. Now you can set it so that this is the page that people see first, but for some reason it doesn't work in Chrome or Firefox. So just use that URL there. That's a nice little trick for you. Anyway, you guys, that's how you do it. I hope that helps somebody. Um, I'd love to see some of the ones you come up with, um, especially if they're better than my simple little one here. Uh, so shoot me a comment or on Facebook, post it up, and I'll check it out. Thanks, guys. See you next time.